Growing maize is hard work and pests make it even harder. Insect pests can attack your maize and destroy it, affecting your family's nutrition or costing you money. The primary insect pests in the field are called stem borers. One such pest is Chylopartellus, more commonly known as the spotted stem borer moth. This animation will take you through the steps of protecting your field from pests like the stem borers by using a push-pull system. The push-pull system is a key element in developing an integrated pest management program. First, let's talk about how the stem borer can destroy your maize crop. Stem borer adults lay their creamy white-colored eggs on the underside of the maize leaves. If you notice any of these eggs on your crops, you may have an infestation. The stem borer eggs take about four to eight days to hatch. Once hatched, the larvae start eating the leaves they hatched on. The larvae are creamy white to yellowish brown, with a reddish brown head and typically have four purple brown stripes along their body. After feeding on the leaves, the larvae move into the stem of the plant. They continue feeding on the inside of the plant, damaging it. After two to four weeks of feeding, the larvae pupate inside the stems of the maize. They emerge as an adult stem borer in 5 to 12 days. Adult stem borers are active at night and rest on the plants during the day. They are smaller moths with light yellow-brown wings. To prevent your maize from being attacked by stem borers, you can use a technique called push-pull. This technique does not use any pesticides, which are costly and can be harmful to you and natural enemies that eat pests. Since insecticides are not used, the push-pull approach is compatible with biocontrol, allowing parasitic wasps to survive and attack the stem borers. You can plant specific plants around your maize that will distract and repel the moths. These plants can also help control weeds and can be harvested to feed your livestock. To try the push-pull technique, Start by planting your maize in rows with at least 2 feet or about 75 centimeters of space between the rows. In between your maize rows, plant desmodium. Desmodium is a legume plant that produces chemicals that the stem borers don't like. The moths are then repelled or pushed out of the maize. On the outside of your maize field, plant elephant grass, also known as napier grass or bracaria. These grasses will attract or pull the moths out of the maze. Instead of laying eggs on your maize plants, moths will want to lay their eggs on this grass. The larvae will hatch and start feeding on the grass, but die soon afterward. Let's recap on this integrated pest management strategy featuring the push-pull technique. By planting desmodium between your maize rows, you will pull the stem borer away from your crop. By planting elephant grass or bracaria around your field, you will pull the moth away from your maize and kill any potential offspring. The desmodium and elephant grass can also be harvested to feed your livestock or to sell. In addition, the desmodium helps control the striga weed, also known as witch weed. Finally, Climate Smart new varieties of desmodium and elephant grass are available that require less water and therefore save more water for the maize. In summary, this is a cheap and easy solution to control stem borers without having to buy any pesticides. Try push-pull on your maize crop if stem borers are a problem in your area. You can save your crop from infestations and produce greater yields during the growing season. This means more food and money for you and your family.